Russia is running out of tanks. AI analyzed satellite images of Russian military bases. Russia has suffered heavy tank losses since the start of the major war in Ukraine and may have only a few thousand armored combat vehicles left, Newsweek reports, citing an artificial intelligence analysis of satellite images conducted by the German newspaper The Deutsche Zeitung. It is noted that the AI model studied satellite images of 87 Russian military facilities, including 16 bases where tanks, artillery, vehicles and armored personnel carriers are stored. The analysis calculated the number of tanks at these key sites before Russia's large-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 until today. One of these bases is the Army's 111th Central Tank Reserve Base in southeast Russia. In April 2021, it housed 857 tanks. It is now nearly empty, satellite images show. Just months after the war began, it was found in October 2022, Russia lost almost half of these tanks. An analysis of other military facilities revealed a similar picture. The publication says, Michael Jestad, a defense and military analysis research analyst at the London-based International Institute for Strategic Studies, said he estimates Russia still has about 3,200 tanks in stock, but the vast majority of them are in poor condition and require significant repairs, he said. Gustav Gressel, a senior fellow at the European Council on Foreign Relations think tank, said Russia was losing far more equipment than it can replace and stockpile are running low. Therefore, it is important for Ukraine to inflict such high material losses on the Russians that at some point the situation for them will become critical. Russia has lost up to half of its tanks in Ukraine since the start of the war and is running low on ammunition, a senior US official said recently. Deputy Treasury Secretary Wally Adeyemo made the assessment. Adeyemo argued that US-led sanctions on Russia had harmed its economy and limited its ability to replace equipment lost in the war. The sanctions, he said, degraded Russia's ability to replace more than 9,000 pieces of military equipment lost since the start of the war, forced production shutdowns at key defense facilities, and caused shortages of essential components for tanks and aircraft production. Russia is also running out of munitions and has lost as much as 50% of its tanks. He continued and had to turn to mothballed Soviet-era weapons. Nine carriages of the Vorkutinovorossiysk passenger train derailed and overturned in the Komi Republic of Russia. Emergency medical teams have been dispatched to the scene. Trains have been stopped. The number of injured passengers has not been disclosed. The head of Komi, Vladimir Weba, went to the area where the train accident took place. There were no fatalities as a result of the derailment of nine carriages of the Vorkutinovorossiysk train in Komi. In general, the train consisted of 14 carriages carrying 232 passengers. According to preliminary information, there were no fatalities as a result of the incident, Western Interregional Investigation Department of the Russian Transport Investigative Committee said. The administration noted that 70 people were injured as a result of the incident. News agencies quoted police and emergency services as saying injuries included fractures, bruises, cuts and head trauma. Video posted online showed passengers being hoisted through smashed windows of overturned cars before being led away from the accident. Several carriages were seen lying on their side on the edge of the railed. Russian news agencies quoted officials as saying that two auxiliary trains and investigators had been dispatched to help evacuate passengers from the area, made up largely of forest and swamp. <laughs> Охренеть. Смотри, сейчас будет. Сука, я сейчас попробую.